Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. My face is bare, no eyebrows, nothing going on because we are trying out a skincare treatment. This is actually one of the black peel off masks and this is from Biovene or Biovene. I'm not sure how they pronounce that. I'm going to leave all of the information down below. Uh, this has green tea, papaya and witch hazel in it it says it's suitable for all skin types and no parabens in there okay so i'm just going to open this up and i'll let you know what i did before starting this today uh because on the side of the box it tells you to make sure you wash your face use some warm water open up those pores get your face nice and clean so that when you apply this it works properly so I did wash my face, used a nice white washcloth. I even uh, put the white washcloth underneath warm water for a period of time, let it just soak, and then I just placed the towel on my face, let it sit there for about five minutes, just to be sure my pores were kind of open. This is what the mask looks like. It's in a squeezable tube. Uh, you saw I had to take all of the plastic off the box, so nice and sealed let's see here you have the little pump here you're gonna have to open it up and it's sealed again right there so that's great i also did cheat a bit and watch other people's reviews of it they said to be very careful taking that peel off because it kind of runs out you can see the product right there now this says it is supposed to clean pores and perfect skin uh, it's loved for acne, blackheads and blemishes I do have a few blemishes uh, it is that time of the month for me so I do have some new little acne right up in here having kind of a bad month for that uh, I also have bumps and uh, uh, blemishes under my chin, so I'm going to apply it in all of those places. It also says that you can apply this one to three times a week. I'm not sure if I would do that, but we'll see. Um, and you can just use your hand to start applying it. It does have to stay on for 30 minutes until it is completely dry. I do have a little mirror here to my side so I can see what I'm doing comes out pretty thick see it so my hand is not runny at all pretty thick and I'm just gonna apply it especially over my nose and they don't say to apply a very thin layer or anything like that so I'm gonna just go for it because I have a wide nose I do have little white heads and things that settle on the side of my nose so I'm going to make sure it gets down in those little cracks on the side. So my mom is going to freak out when I walk out with this on. And it'll be just my luck someone comes to the front door. Alright guys, now that it's applied, I just have to wait the 30 minutes for it to dry. I wanted to make sure I got it nice and connected. And, you know, a good amount of it so that when I peel it, it kind of stays together. I know that's like a shot in the dark, but we're going to try. Also, it feels pretty cool. Um, it doesn't have a bad scent at all. It, it is a little bit of a scent to it, but not bad at all. I'm hoping to take this off and look like super glam, so fingers crossed. It has been over 30 minutes and we're back. It looks very, very shiny and wet, but it is not. I do have a few spots that I kind of put a little bit too much on and it is a little damp, but everything else is super tight. I mean, it looks like glossy leather or something but it's dry it's dry that is amazing okay my face feels super tight so I'm going to attempt to try to pull it off in sections whereas it'll come off evenly Is definitely tugging oh especially around my hairline ah yeah that hurts it'll be careful around your hairline oh uh. 
Oh. And you see my skin is kind of pale. Awesome. Okay, so looking at this, I can see white heads definitely. I'm going to get in super close. Maybe use some natural sunlight so you guys can see what came off of the skin, especially around. Because it came off almost like the mask right there. There's the two eyes, there's the nose, and there's the mouth. So right around the nose area you definitely see a lot of little white heads all right so hold on one second and i'm going to take the rest of this off it does feel a lot a lot smoother it just it feels very 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 smooth so we will see over time over the week how it's going to um you know how i skin is going to react to it I can't tell you that right now I believe it did exactly what it said it was going to do you saw the little white heads I didn't have any black heads um, I do a lot of exfoliating not like rough but I do use my Derma E products I also do the mask and things like that from time to time so I think my skincare regimen oops pretty much up to par before I did this so maybe that's why I didn't get like that dramatic effect but just looking at all of those little uh, white heads that were put, sucked out or pulled out that was amazing in itself because you know sometimes especially my nose I get very oily in my t-zone I could squeeze my nose and I will see them like popping out of there so to see all of it on the uh, mask was amazing it's like I got it all off at one time. You also didn't have to put it all over the face like I did. Uh, right here you see a little picture of a woman. It's like she put it across the forehead, she put it across the nose, she put it across the chin. So you can put it exactly where you want to put it and just pull off that. Because I would uh, tell you that if you continue to put it all over the face, you would use up the product very, very fast. So put it in your problem areas and pull it off. And... I give it um thumbs up I, I really like it I really really like it so far let's see what happens um, am I gonna have any reactions to it they're saying you can apply it uh, one to three times a week um, I don't think I would need to do the mask one to three times a week uh, for other people who may have more problematic areas yes I could see you doing it be careful around the hairline I have all these little edges here oh that hurt it <laughs> it hurt it pretty bad so maybe you might want to narrow a bit um, a few days before you do it if you have lots of peach fuzz on your skin mustache going on you might want to you know hit those areas up like a few days before you do this because oh that hurt it around my edges but um, other than that I really really like the outcome my skin feels very very clean very clean so I'm digging that so you guys give this a try another thing that I want to say too because it's in high demand because it's trending right now and a lot of people are doing these masks it's gonna take a long time to get to you I waited almost a month and a half for this I think closer to two months closer to two months I waited for this um, if you guys have been following me and watching my live streams, you will know me and the hubby had been talking about this two months ago. And it just got to me this week. So you will be waiting a while for it, but it's worth it in my opinion. Just to have something especially right before a special occasion to get it off your nose, your chin, your forehead, those problem areas. I think so. I'm going to see how my pores look in pictures. The little uh, open pores I have around my nose look minimized. They really, really do to me. So we're going to see. All right. So I'll talk to you guys in another video. Cyber kisses. Bye.